All right, guys, so we just get out here to the lighthouse. It is gorgeous. Look at that water. Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Weekenders YouTube channel. Today is a very special day because we are in Key Largo, specifically at the John Pellencamp Boat Ramp and State Park. And we are going to do a bucket list jet ski trip and we are going to jet ski the Florida Keys. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun, so stick around and let's go. All right guys, so like Lewis said, we're here in the Keys. Uh, we are uh, at Key Largo right now um, at the state's, at the state's um, state park. Uh, we're gonna dump in right there. Then we are going to go down to Isla Morta and then go over to Alligator Reef. And Lewis has another surprise for me either today or tomorrow. Something about a toilet seat. So and we're gonna go hit up the toilet bowl alley on the way. Today or tomorrow? Today. Oh, okay. All right. So we're gonna be seeing a lot of things. Yeah. So, but I think first off, we're gonna right here at the state park. There's yeah. gonna be a whole bunch of mangroves. We're gonna check that out too. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be really cool. Yeah. All right. So let's go. Let's go. All right, guys. So we just launched. Lewis is dropping his uh, skin in the water right now. Um, Yes, yeah, so we're really excited to be here. This is something that Lewis has wanted to do for a very long time. Um, I'm a little more apprehensive only because um, this is really like the first time we're going to be super far off um, the an island or the mainland, right, or <laughs> sand or land in general, right? So um, what's, what's, what's interesting is um, apparently this is something a lot, a lot of jet skiers do. So we practiced last week with our sand anchors um, and I feel pretty a little bit more confident than, uh, than when I did before. Um, so yeah, so it should be a good time. Hoping to see maybe an octopus. Um, I've heard there's some here. Um, hopefully we'll see a sea turtle. That would be really cool. Um, I would love to see a shark very safely on my jet ski and that can be in the water. Uh, <laughs> um, but I, I, I don't think Lewis would be excited to see a shark. So, um, yeah, so stick with us. Um, and we're going to see a lot of cool things today and, uh, we'll be back tomorrow. And I think we're going to do a different part of the, of the, uh, of, of the, of the yesterday park tomorrow so yeah should be a good time so let's go all right guys so we just got launched here at the boat ramp the parking here was pretty easy today's friday it's good friday in fact so it's a holiday kind of expected to be a little bit busier but actually no problems at all i do here on the weekends though it gets really busy and you probably have to get here early like the park park opens at eight uh, people are saying you might want to get in line outside the gates at seven i'm not exactly sure where because there's not really a good place to line up but that's what i hear Before we cut over through the inlet to get on the Gulf side. So let's go. Uh, we uh, haven't 
seen anything super cool in the water yet. So, uh, but if we do, we'll let you know. So here we are in the world famous toilet seat cut just off of Plantation Key down here in the Florida Keys. This is a unique spot where the locals come out and they put their toilet seats here to mark the channel and they decorate them with all kinds of different designs and memorials and different schools and you know remembrance of trips and things. Pretty unique. So out of all the toilet seats out here I think my favorite has to be the pirate. Love the creativity with the bottle hook hand. His hair is kind of messed up though. I'm blowing around in the hurricanes. Alright, so you guys can see it from here, but there is a Garden State Parkway sign. So shout out to all my family in New Jersey because that's where I'm from. So that was pretty funny. It happened. It's really funny. So Mr. Lewis decided to uh, jump off his ski to uh, check something, and I think he broke his ankle. I did not break my ankle. I just went straight into the mud about a foot. <laughs> <laughs> Lost a shoe <laughs> in the toilet bowl. The water feels good though. Yeah. I'm hot. Yeah, I am hot too. It's pretty warm today. Hi right, guys. Well, we just left, or we are in the process of leaving. Uh, toilet bowl alley, creek, uh, aisle. I don't know what else to call it. Um, but. Uh, Lewis running back on the ski. So, um, I think my favorite one was probably, I don't know, I thought the their surveillance one was pretty funny. Hopefully Lewis caught that on his GoPro. Um, I thought that one was pretty funny. I also thought the, uh, yeah, Jersey State uh, Parkway was pretty funny. Oh, oh, the cheese head was good too. The cheese head was pretty funny. So, yeah, I like funny things. Yeah, honey, what was your favorite, what was your favorite one? All right, I think my favorite one was the one with the, with the pirate. Oh, I don't think I missed that one. Oh yeah, he's, he's got like a whole head beard or head, you know, like uh, hair and oh. you know dreadlocks, and he's got hands, and one of them's a bottle with a hook on it. No. Oh. I thought that was creative. That was so I got some video of that. So okay. put that in there. Um, what was your favorite? I like the cheese head. The cheese head. Yeah. Yeah, you a Green Bay Packers fan now? I'm not, but I thought the cheese head was funny. I think we're gonna, we're, I think we're gonna hit, 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 hit the toilet bowl. All right, so next we're just gonna keep on heading down until we get down to Isla Mora, and there'll be another uh, inlet there we can cut. To the left, mm -hmm. we'll be out to Alligator Reef. All right, so let's go. So far, I've only seen a couple birds. I haven't seen any fish. Okay. Haven't seen any uh, any other wildlife yet. It's about ten o'clock, so we've been on the on the water for about an hour and a half so far. Yeah. Woo! -hoo. Okay, we're rocking, we're rocking. The water is beautiful though. Yeah, it's super clear, very pretty. So, okay, let's go. All right, guys, I'm positive you can see it, but way off in the distance there, that's um, the bridge that we're gonna cross. This is uh, Isla Marana right here. There's Lewis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to stop at the sandbar and fill up? I think we'll be alright. 
internal combustion motor science because they are um, kind of small, but also not a lot of them around. So you could go right between two of them. There's one there and there's one all the way over there where that boat is. So you may not even notice it if you're not right up on it. So there you go. Um, I think that might be a stingray. I think that might be a stingray right there. Stingray. Oh, there he goes. He's quick. There's a barracuda right there. All right guys, so we just get out here to the lighthouse. It is gorgeous. Look at that water. It is so aqua blue. We got set up here. We got our anchors deployed. We got our little dive flag. In just a moment here, I'm gonna put my flippers on. We got our sea scooter. We're gonna scoot on up there and check out the lighthouse and see what kind of fish we can see. I'm super excited. I'm pumped to be here. It definitely is a bit uh, more uh, like wavy than I expected today. Uh, I've seen a bunch of other photos of Alligator Reef. It usually seems pretty calm. I don't know if we just picked a bad day or if this is how it always is. Maybe it just doesn't come across well on camera, but uh, these are probably three to four foot swells. Um, but they're kind of rolling and anchor seems to be holding up fine. So I think we're going to be in good shape. So let's go. Let's do it.
the record. <laughs> I think I'm ready to go before Lewis was, but thank goodness he helped me get on my ski because it's it's a little it's a little wavy out here. So um, we had a great time. Uh, we saw some really cool parrotfish. We saw some nurse sharks. Uh, we saw some barracudas, which I thought were pretty neat. No octopus, no turtle, but hey, we saw sharks. So we saw a couple of sharks. So that was that that was cool. Um, so I think next we are going to um, I think head over to the sandbar. Looking a little ominous as far as like the clouds and the weather, so we'll kind of play that by ear and see how that goes. Um, and then yeah, so stick around with us and we'll see what's next. Um, who knows? The next the next clip could could, could be us getting on the on the track because it's looking a little a little cloudy. But who knows? Let's just see where the day takes us. All right. Not calm day out there. You think so? Are you feeling nauseous at all? I'm all right, except for like two seconds here and there, I felt like a little nauseous. But yeah, yeah power through. I'm good. I, I have like a simmering like like 12% nauseous going on right now. So yeah, I thought it was easier coming back because then we're rolling with the wave. Yeah, too. maybe. Getting, bam, bam, yeah, bam, it's getting smacked along. There, yeah, rough. yeah. So. All right, guys. So we made it to the sandbar made it we uh, have a lot of friends that we haven't met yet but funny people here um someone is excited because they read somewhere online that there is a boat that parks out here that sells hot dogs i think hamburgers and hamburgers and hot dogs? other stuff yeah there's okay. the flags over there i think that's it okay so what are you going to tell the people on the youtube that happened today that my wife's buying me lunch because I'm such a great guy. <laughs> it's so funny though because we typically uh, don't ski with all of our stuff, right? So. Well, yeah. There's no. Yeah. Usually we bring our own food and yeah. there's no need to stop mm -hmm. anywhere. So I usually you don't even bring yeah, your credit cards any kind of cash right. or credit cards or anything. Yeah. Yeah, it's your ID and that's Yeah. Uh, so didn't bring any today. Yeah. Just like old habit. habits. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I got no money to buy some hamburgers, so. I'm, Relying on the generosity of Christine to yeah. buy me some hamburgers. No, no, comment down below. Should I should I let him get a hamburger? I will. Of course I will. Of course I will. He's a fantastic guy. And uh, thank goodness for him because I almost didn't make it through this. I was so nauseous coming back. Um, and not because I'm a, I'm typically a, like a nauseous kind of, kind of person. I just for whatever reason just wasn't feeling feeling it. So um, we made it back. We can kind of see. Um, you guys probably can't see it out there because I'm gonna get shot killed here by this boat. I just passed the boat, um, straight ahead, right out of the difference. You can see uh, the al uh, Alligator Reef Playhouse. That's pretty cool. I have to laugh, we've been here for like a whole 30 seconds. Luz is already made a best friend. <laughs> so, all right guys, that rain cloud is, uh, thank goodness, because that's where we would have swear. Uh, the lighthouse is just on the side of the, uh, of the mile of the channel marker there so yeah but we're over here now uh lewis is getting us some lunch um yeah so maybe we will be able to find something cool in the sand here um but yeah all right guys yeah and then you got it there's the lane house all the way out there all right so guys so we went to the uh, the pin pinchos shack uh -huh. up, this, up the uh, sandbar there uh -huh. um prices are a bit high but I don't think you have much of a choice other than packing your own lunch. But actually the fries are really good. Yeah. So it's $13 a hamburger, uh, $5 for a fry, and $2 for a soda. So all together, lunch for two of us came to 40 bucks. <laughs> I was walking it back, some guy stopped me and says, did you walk that all the way back from the mainland? <laughs> I was like, oh, nah, right up there, man. <laughs> but so far, so good. So we figured out our retirement plan. <laughs> yeah, Buy a no, boat. I'm kidding, you know, that was always like, all right, worst case scenario, I'm going to move to Florida. Mm -hmm. I'm going to open up a hot dog shack on the beach. Right. This is way better. Because mm -hmm. these hot, these hamburgers are probably like a dollar, two dollars. <laughs> inflation, know. honey, inflation. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, guys, so here's your pro tips for jet skiing alligator reef. I'd like to say that uh, we forgot, we, in our haste to getting out of here yesterday, we forgot to give you your pro tips, so here they are. Say number one is make sure you have enough gas. Uh, we filled both these jet skis up and still went with went through another five gallons a piece and we had to stop at a marina just for the added security i think we could have been all right if we hadn't stopped but just definitely make sure that you have enough gas our, our jet skis here hold 16 gallons so with the five gallons we went through about 21 gallons of gas to get there and back uh, pro tip number two is make sure you bring a deep water anchor and make sure you know how to use it because 
Uh, there are some mooring balls out there, but most people are anchored out there, and it's a little bit different than what most how most people use a jet ski. So, um, bring your bring your deep water anchor and know how to use it. Pro tip number three is if you're going to stop at the Isla Mirada Sandbar, be sure to bring some cash if you want to eat there uh, at that little floating restaurant. Food was pretty good. Burgers are so-so. The fries were pretty good, but uh, it's a great you know hot meal out on the on the sandbar. So great place to hang out for a little bit. And along with cash, if you have to stop and get gas, gas on the water is going to be much more expensive. It was about six, seven dollars a gallon. So mm -hmm. be prepared for that. And that's going to do it for us today. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let us know. Have you ever been to Alligator Reef? Would you ever want to try that? I thought it was pretty crazy, but we had a great time. So with that being said, we're out of here, and we'll see you next weekend. jet ski in the Florida Keys, we're just going to take the jet skis on the Alligator Reef. Well, yeah, we got to go down the Keys. Okay. Okay. That's the Keys. Okay. So? What was three? Alright, so, you want to ask me what my favorite one was? Yeah. Right above you? Yeah, come on close. It's going to be a light tap. Should I go and move? I thought that was a cop. I was up and I was trying to get pulled over again. That was not fun last time. And pro tip number three is if you're going to stop at the uh, Isla Isla Mora, Isla Morada. All right. And pro tip number three is if you're going to stop at the Isla Morada sand bar. So, um, did you find a favorite uh, a favorite toilet bullet? Don't ask me questions right now.